Hello dear ones, it's Alice. Um, this is about being lost in the woods. <laughs> and I was just remembering um, it was a children's story that my mom used to read to us when we were little. And it was it was pretty it was pretty gruesome. <laughs> it was pretty mind boggling. It's about and there were pictures. <laughs> and so it was about two little children, a brother and a sister. Uh, that for some reason their their stepmother didn't want them, and they were a woodcutter's children, so they lived out in the forest, and uh, it was something about the first time uh, the first time she tried to get rid of them, she led them into the forest, right, and so they had little pebbles, and the little girl especially she knew. So she took these little pebbles and, and used them one by one, dropping them to mark the trail so that when they, then the stepmother said, you stay here tonight, thinking that some, some wicked wild animal would come and eat them, right? <laughs> so already I was on edge. There was no sleeping at that moment, <laughs> in case that was a bedtime story. So <laughs> anyway, uh, the little girl had it right, so she... Um, she and her brother found the way back home after the wicked stepmother left, right? By following these little pebbles. So then the next time uh, the stepmother knew what to check the, the pockets for, for pebbles, but she gave them each a little crust of bread to take with them. And she led them back out into the forest and the little girl left little uh, crumbs all along the path. But the birds came and ate them. And as I recall, the upshoot of the story was that the two of them just, just hugged each other uh, through the night, and then slowly they both died. <laughs> and so, some children's story, huh? <laughs> I bet you wouldn't find it on the market today. So, but anyway, <laughs> it was another one of those stories where I would go, but are you sure they were dead? <laughs> so, anyway... Um, right now, this time when, when everybody's ascending and, and we have the path before us is not a path that we've taken before. I'm reminded of that story in my childhood and how uh, frightened I was of the idea of being off on my own in, in, in an unknown place with needing to take care of my little brother <laughs> and not knowing the way back. So, and the possible outcome, which was dramatic. <laughs> so, um... Um, I think there are a lot of people that are feeling like that right now who uh, they're not sure what the path should be or what way it should be to it, it seems unsafe perilous the way seems perilous and and the possibility of death seems really close and um, they just they're not sure how to prepare you know because this is all new this is this is a place where we've never been or uh, if we have been there, we don't remember it. So um, I, I was also reminded of a course I took at UCLA years ago that, uh, that had to do with survival. And uh, they set us all down, uh, they, there were four or five of us in a work group, and they set us all down at a table and told us that our plane had gone down in the desert, right? And that what should we do to survive? So we all had ideas, tons of ideas, and um, my idea was that I should be in charge and that I should lead them all to safety, which makes sense since I'm an oldest child. <laughs> and so when we got finished with the exercise and had done all the things that we were, were, were asked to do, the teacher came around with answers about what would have been the right thing to do to survive. and. Uh, as it turned out, the thing that was most important was something that was recommended by a person whose opinion I disregarded as the leader. So that taught me that everybody's ideas in a situation like that are very important. It's very important to consider all the possibilities and to not to, uh, not to let the ego take charge, but to bring everybody together into the situation and to help solve that problem. So, for what it's worth, you, if you feel lost and alone and you're not sure what to do right now, go and find some other people that, that, um, that, that are in the same boat, they feel the same way, and see if together 
a number of solutions can be um, thought of that would so if one doesn't work the next one will cooperation and unity and harmony and so forth I think those things will benefit us better than just I'm in charge <laughs> and and forget about the bread comes it doesn't work <laughs> see you later Ha, ha, ha.